Welcome to the IGUS booth here at Semicon West. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Peter Matale. Nice to see you, Peter. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, IGUS makes a, a range of products uh, for machines and for clean rooms specifically. Uh, obviously, it's a growing market, it's a bigger area. Um, how have you found that market recently um, uh, for, for clean room activity? Thank you, Trevor, for this question. So, mainly we can see that the demands for well, the clean room requirements getting higher and higher and higher. So, in the past, our main product for clean room applications was our standard E6 chain. E6 one chain or standard E chains, but they are like ISO class 3 and 1, and even that is for some of the customers not enough. They want to have fully enclosed systems or systems for ESD yes. environments. Yes. I mean, obviously, this has been mostly for, for, uh, for operating in, in clean rooms and, and in the back end packaging side. Uh, in the printed circuit assembly side, the SMT uh, uh, divisions, there's a lot of companies that are now starting to include clean rooms into their facilities. So not just these companies, uh, they, they also need machines in there that are clean room compatible. So these old uh, systems for cable management, for example, are probably not going to be suitable. You, you're going to have to move to something a bit more, um, a bit more uh, ESD compliant and, and easier to use. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. So. I would say the old but gold chain, over 15 years old and in use, mm -hmm. is still good. Yeah. But as the requirements getting higher and higher, our customers ask us, okay, what can you do? What can you offer? So, and what we do now was a lot of years of experience, over 50 years of experience also in bearing materials for sliding application, tribopolymers. Yeah. We combine the knowledge of the e-chains mm -hmm. and the knowledge of our dry tech and dry lin material research. So we use here our Eglidur J material to reduce the abrasion of crossbars and the cables inside of the chain up to 80% to standard materials in combination with electrical um, or ESD material, mm -hmm. so which is electrical conductive. So, and that's a very, very good solution for our PCB or SMT makers. So there's a so obviously there's a, there's a range of um, cable management systems in, in, inside the um, clean rooms. Uh, you've got a variety of other uh, cable management devices here that you could demonstrate to us. Uh, why don't you take us through a few? Yeah, sure. So this was our C6 for SMT, for example, applications. Or what I want to show you now, I will just clean up a little bit. A very, very cool application or a very, very cool solution for ISO class 1 mm -hmm. is our fully enclosed system. Because some customers, they don't want to even see the cables into, inside of a cable management system. So, and the benefit here is that it's very easy, openable. It's so-called e-skin. So it's a skin around the cables. So it's fully openable. You can easily install the cables. You have interior separation system inside, and with just one tool, right, you can easily close the system. Beautiful. So, so therefore, it's you know, it's, it's dust. It keeps dust off of it, uh, the cables and everything. It, it fully protects them. Correct. Correct. It keeps the dust of the cables inside, mm -hmm. and even inside, we have our Eclido J material for the cable separation to even keep the dust production, the particle or emission, as small as possible. What else do we have? One more system, also fully enclosed. Mm -hmm. It's, I think, most of or the well-known product actually in the industry, so-called clean cable, but in the past, it was made out, or it was a flat ribbon cable, which means it was mostly made out of EPTFE. So the cables were welded in, and as soon as you fixed the design, you had to produce it with the same design. So, but mostly customers, they want to be as flexible as possible. Mm -hmm. So they want to add maybe one more vision cable or whatever, and then you always had to change the design. Okay, so how do we do that? Ah. Also here was the e-skin flat, mm -hmm. so we call it again e-skin. Yes. 
We combine actually the benefits of the traditional e-chain, which you have in different widths, radius and everything, with the technology of the flat ribbon EPDFE cables. So what you can do here is, when you have a cable failure or if you want to add one more cable, you can easily replace the cable, open the pot, replace it, and even you can separate the pots, which makes it the first openable clean cable, which is modular. That's wonderful. So you, you can literally build that up as, to as, as wide as you need it or as narrow as you need it with whatever com combination. Correct. You can also stack it up, up to six layers. Mm -hmm. And the main benefit is we can offer it up to five meter strokes. So even for flat panel display applications, not only semicon, mm -hmm. also microelectronic PCB secondary battery and also as an option as an ESD version. So, Great. Well, these are, these are all very innovative products, um, uh, Peter. Uh, now I believe your colleague Josh has also got another range of products uh, over on the dry side that we're going to take a look at uh, right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will give you a, a very good overview. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I'm joined by Josh Lewis. Uh, he deals with the, the dry side of the materials that you're, uh, you have here at IGUS. So nice to see you, Josh. Uh, tell us some of the products that you've got here. Yeah, so on the, on the table here in front of us, we actually have some of our plane bearing products, some of our lead screw, 3D additive printing products, and then some of our linear products. All of them are based off of a, a dry running polymer. So they're all made with a, a self-lubricating property, with a strengthening fiber, and then with a thermoplastic. And that's why we call them tribal polymers. Mm -hmm. um, so each, each different material um, is optimized for gliding on a metal rail, or even we can now run on wood products or other plastic shafting as well. Um, and so then we take those components and we combine them into some of our linear system systems that can be uh, used with a, as you can see inside of here, like the plastic liner, mm -hmm. and then a metal rail that the carriage slides on. Um, and then we can also add even a drive system to that, whether it be a belt drive or a lead screw can drive that carriage back and forth. Okay, I see, I see. And you can, you can customize these lead screws and different things uh, uh, to, to have different properties. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have different configurators, uh, both for lifetime and product selection. But then also, once you've uh, selected a different product, you can actually go ahead and make some maybe custom journaling, say on like this lead screw or a piece of shafting, so that it can be more uh, more complete solution when it arrives at your facility. Excellent, excellent. And on, on, on these uh, plastic parts, of course, you have the facility, uh, as you said earlier, to, to, to do them in additive materials, additive building materials, but also uh, to do custom drawings to drop on your website that you can then right. so, create. So you can have your own CAD geometry and you can actually drag and drop that onto a, a, a space on our website mm -hmm. and it'll give you live pricing. And then depending on which material that you choose, different properties and different characteristics, you can actually get live pricing for all of those parts and also price breaks for different volumes as well. So tell us a bit about the facility. I mean, you're, you're, you've got the largest polymer bearing test lab in the world, I believe. Yes, exactly. So we do uh, about 15 to 20,000 tests in our, in our lab every year. And we take all of that data and we make it available for the different configurators and different tools that we have on our website. So you can take your application parameters fill out all the information that you can, and then it'll make a recommendation either for the product or actually give you a lifetime based on your application parameters. Well, you've certainly got a huge variety of different products here. We certainly don't have time to go through all of them today, but uh, you can certainly catch up on more of these things if you're interested in this, these materials uh, on IGUS's website, which is? IGUS.com, and we also have now a, a low-cost robotics platform called RBTX.com as well. Excellent. Okay, Josh, thank you very much for joining us today. Yep.